Uh, good morning, welcome to our European morning update. And uh, European stock markets is straightening a tad uh, lower this morning. Uh, the the market tension is really uh, on the rest of the week. We've got uh, about 30% of the S&P 500 reporting this week. We've also got the Federal Reserve on Wednesday, which is likely to raise interest rates by at least 75 basis points. There's a US uh, advanced GDP reading for the second quarter of Thursday. The Fed will probably know what that is when it comes to the meeting on Wednesday. Expected lower the Atlanta Fed GDP now figure showing contraction again. So for second quarter, a technical uh, contraction, a technical recession perhaps. Although of course with inflation running where it is, the the, the nominal value is is still is still in positive territory. PC inflation due Friday as well. That's the Fed's preferred uh, gauge of inflation. And then on the earnings front, it's uh, everyone Meta, Facebook, uh, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet. Um, you've also got like Coca-Cola, Boeing, uh, 3M, Caterpillar. Uh, so a huge number of Dow components, huge number of the S&P 500 reporting. So we're going to get a real clear steer from the market as to whether this bear market rally that we've seen over the last uh, two to three weeks uh, can continue. The S&P 500 is up about 9% off its mid-June lows. Uh, Friday saw a bit of a pullback with uh, snap earnings missing, but uh, the broad uh, trend at the moment is to the upside with markets seeing uh, two things really. One is earnings coming in better than expected, and the other is the, the market is betting the Fed will have to rein its horns in and, uh, and take its foot off the pedal with regards to rate hikes over the coming weeks and months. Some even saying that this could be the last hike, uh, but I think that's uh, misguided. I think we're going to see the Fed hiking more, uh, and it won't be cutting next year. It will be continuing to raise interest rates. Uh, uh, into uh, the uh, the end of this year, so that could uh, upset uh, equity bulls uh, a bit further uh, uh, ahead. Um, elsewhere, the dollar's trading a bit flat. Everything's trading pretty pretty sideways. The oil's a bit weaker. The dollar's pretty flat. Uh, Euro back below one or two. Cable just under one twenty, running into resistance there. And gold is uh, around seventeen twenty five. Just ran into resistance at seventeen forty and just pulled back from that area. So we're going to see if we make another stab at that level. That's it for now. We'll more later. Thanks for watching. Thank you.